Welcome biologists. Today we are looking at the theory behind the membrane experiments to do with specification point C on biological membranes taken from the OCR specification 2.1.5. So we are going to be looking at here the theory involved between behind how temperature and solvents and also detergents impact on membrane permeability. So the three main things that impact on the permeability of a cell membrane are heat, ethanol or alcohol concentrations and detergents such as soap and or washing up liquid. So we're going to concentrate first of all looking at heat. So this is taken directly from the mark scheme. You need to know these marking points. Very, very popular on the mark scheme. As the temperature of the solution or the cells or whatever it is you're talking about increases, the phospholipids gain kinetic energy. Now, as those phospholipids gain kinetic energy, this is going to cause gaps to appear between the phospholipids. It's really important here you say gaps and not holes. You get no marks for saying holes. Therefore, as a result of these small gaps appearing between the phospholipids, the membrane is going to become more permeable. This means that more material, more liquid will start to leak out or into, or into the cells. Also, when you get to a high temperature, the proteins that are embedded within the membrane will also denature, and this will increase the permeability of that particular membrane. So that's all to do with an increase in temperature, but also you do need to be aware of a decrease in temperature and how that impacts upon the membrane permeability. So we should know that when water freezes, it turns into ice and ice expands, it's, it's less dense than water. So therefore, uh, when ice freezes, I get these crystals that form and these crystals pierce and break the cell membrane. And this is why when you get food from the freezer and defrost it, this is why we get this puddle of water or, or juice almost that comes from our food because it's the insides of the cells that are starting to leak out because this freezing process has damaged the cell membranes of the food that we've defrosted. Ethanol or alcohol same thing, Al ethanol is an example of an alcohol, this dissolves the phospholipid bilayer. Therefore, at higher alcohol concentrations or at higher ethanol concentrations, the more permeable the membrane will become, therefore allowing more substances, watery-based substances, normally out of the cell. Detergents is another one that disrupts the cell surface membrane, and again, it does this by dissolving the phospholipid bilayer and making the membranes more permeable. And this is why you're encouraged to wash your hands regularly because most uh, microbes or, um, for example, bacteria and viruses have a membrane um, in their structure. Therefore, if you're washing your hands regularly with detergent, with soap, this is going to disrupt the, the membrane that is present within the bacteria or the virus and therefore they'll no longer be able to work effectively. Um, so this is why it's important to wash your hands regularly because detergents dissolve the phospholipid bilayer. So those are the three main reasons uh, and ways in which the membrane's permeability is impacted. I'm going to talk about in the next video an example of an experiment using beetroot, which you do need to be very familiar with in terms of how temperature can impact on membrane permeability. So please have a look at that next video. Please do not forget in your exam, do not use the words it, they, amount or size. You need to use good scientific biological terminology to pick up all your marks and good luck.